Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing sort of like classes, if you will, of retirees in Thailand. Are there more than one class? Is, or has it been sort of bifurcated down into different classes or classifications of retiree in Thailand? A recent article from the Thai Visa, thaivisa.com, Article is titled, Perfectly Legal But Can't Return, Retiree Expat Voices Frustrations to Thai Visa. Quoting directly, a British expat who says he can't return to Thailand has voiced his quote-unquote heartbreak and frustrations. He also claimed discrimination at being unable to return to the kingdom. We'll just call him Mr. P, and he has asked for anonymity. He is age 60 and currently in the UK. He said that he has a perfectly legal visa, but after leaving on a short holiday in March, he has been unable to get back home to Thailand. He holds a non-O category visa with extension of stay based on retirement and is concerned that he and many like him are being treated differently to other classes of O visa holders. And to before we continue with further analysis, again, that's ThaiVisa.com. Article is titled, Perfectly Legal But Can't Return retiree expat voices frustrations to Thai visa. And there's quite a bit of content there, a lot of insightful information. I urge folks watching this video, go ahead and check that out. What is he talking about with respect to the non-O? We have made videos on this channel about this previously. There is this distinction in the Thai immigration regulatory structure wherein O-A retirement visas, which are generally issued by Ministry of Foreign Affairs abroad, and then folks enter Thailand and extend status with that appellation associated with their visa status, though that is a different visa designation from O, just standard O, extension of stay in the kingdom based on retirement. As I have discussed in prior videos, this distinction has several ramifications. Now, I personally think long term, this distinction will effectively be sort of phased out one way or another. Exactly how remains to be seen. But the, I think long term, they're trying to get everybody that's in Thailand in retirement status. I, I think the ultimate goal from a policy level is to make sure all these folks are insured. Because as we saw back in 2019, with respect to insurance associated with medical conditions, this is a real concern at a policy level for immigration authorities, as well as public health officials and just general policy authorities here in Thailand. Meanwhile, we have this COVID-19 situation, which is causing a lot of consternation and it's causing a lot of concern from a public health standpoint and retirees are spe it's specifically pertinent to them because they, a lot of retirees fall in sort of the higher risk or at risk categories for those who can succumb to COVID-19 or based on the literature that appears to be the case at least as of the time of this video. So the, the point I'm trying to make is it looks to me like Thai immigration is not only actively encouraging but they are actively discouraging retirement visa holders who do not have insurance. And OA retirement visas require insurance in order to obtain them. And as we've made videos, OA are now currently become, coming online as eligible. And a question that has been on the lips of many of our clients, as well as many folks who watch this channel and people that just talk to me sort of in a social setting is, well, what are they gonna do about the O retirement visa holders? My opinion, at least it looks to me as of the time of this video, not much. And I think moving forward, the policy is probably going to be, look, if you want to retire in Thailand, you need to apply through the OA category. One of the requirements for issuance of that visa is going to be insurance to come in. And then you're still gonna be required to maintain that insurance via extension in OA status here in Thailand. Now. The folks that are in O retirement visa, not OA, that are here in Thailand, I think it's presumable that those folks, to one degree or another, I think they could be described as sort of grandfathered in 
to that status and permitted to continue extending under the terms they've always been extending. That leaves out, though, O retirement visa holders who are trapped outside of Thailand. And it looks to me, to reiterate, as of the time of this video, I do believe those folks are not being encouraged to enter the country. In fact, they're being actively precluded from entering the country on an O retirement visa extension, and, and they're being discouraged from returning on their re-entry permit to take up their status again here in Thailand. But the, so while they're being discouraged, I think it's actually being in, encouraged, I, and I should say actively being encouraged that folks looking to come to retire in Thailand go ahead and do so under OA status and continue to maintain their status under OA status. And I think the underlying concern there is about insuring folks, especially during this time where public health is such a concern.